Hello, I'm Patricia Walden. I'm looking forward to sharing my experience of yoga with you. In my classes over the years, I've watched many students of all ages discover the benefits of yoga. I've seen their tensions release as their bodies become stronger and more flexible. Health and well-being are the rewards of yoga. These benefits have been proven over centuries. Some of these benefits are immediate, like the deep sense of relaxation we feel. Some reveal themselves over time, like improved resistance to stress and increased poise and equanimity. The system of yoga we'll be practicing has been perfected by my teacher, BKS Iyengar. The beauty of his work lies in its precise instruction and attention to body alignment. Iyengar yoga includes the use of props, like chairs and blocks. These help my students overcome physical limitations. If you're a beginner, I'll teach you how to modify some of the poses using these props. In this program I've designed for you, we'll begin with a warm-up sequence to help you get started. And then we'll move to standing poses, the foundation of Iyengar yoga. These give us flexibility, strength, and stamina. to seated poses for calmness and poise, and to inverted poses to increase circulation and decrease stress. We end with poses of deep relaxation, which leave us feeling energized and refreshed. So practice with me each day and discover the wonderful rewards that yoga can bring to your life. We'll begin with a sitting pose. It's a quiet pose that will help center you and prepare you for your practice. It can also help you make the transition between your daily activities and your experience of yoga. As you practice, breathe slowly and evenly in each pose. Listen to what your body's telling you. Remember to take care of yourself. Approach each pose with an open heart and mind. You'll be hearing a lot of information. Don't feel that you need to understand it all at once. As you continue to practice with this video, your body will understand more. Come to a kneeling position. Bring your knees and your heels together and lengthen the spine. Sit back on your heels. If you feel any discomfort in your knees, take a blanket and place it across your ankles. Sit back on your heels so that your hips are raised. Distribute the weight evenly between the right and left sitting bone. Press the sitting bones down. Sit so that your ears, your shoulders, your hips are all in the same plane. When your body is balanced, it's much easier to relax. Bring your arms by your sides. Inhale and slowly raise your arms up to shoulder level. Draw your shoulders down and extend through your fingertips. Turn your palms up. Inhale Stretch your arms overhead. Press down on your sitting bones and stretch up through your arms. Lace the fingers together and use your arms to make the spine longer. Press the palms up toward the ceiling and press your sitting bones down. Feel your inner arms becoming longer and longer. Inhale and with your next exhale Release your hands and slowly bring your arms down. Drop your shoulders and lengthen your spine. Stretching your arms overhead can feel exhilarating. The ribs lift and expand. This allows you to take in more air. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift your arms to shoulder level.
drop the shoulders and extend through your fingertips. Turn your palms up. Stretch your arms overhead. Change the interlace so that the opposite thumb is on top this time. Press the sitting bones down and extend through the inner arms as you press your palms up toward the ceiling. Stretch to the right and to the left and back to center. Release your hands, exhale and stretch your arms all the way through your fingertips. As you bring your arms down, feel your spine continuing to lift upward. Now take a moment and observe any new sensations in your body. For a deeper stretch, we'll come into child's pose. Separate your knees, but keep your toes together. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend forward from your hips. Place your palms down and stretch through your arms. Bring your forehead to the floor. Resting the forehead in this way helps you relax and quiets the mind. Exhale from deep in the abdomen and stretch forward to the breastbone all the way through the arms. To get a maximum stretch, keep your sitting bones down. This may be difficult for you right now, but with practice it will be easier. Release, soften the breath, let go. Come on to your knees. Now we'll do dog pose. Press your palms firmly into the floor as you turn your toes under and straighten your legs. To lengthen the spine, push the floor away with your hands and stretch up through your inner arms to the sitting bones. Lift the sitting bones up toward the ceiling. To stretch the backs of the legs a little more, lower the heels slightly. Breathe evenly. Bend your knees and sit back on your heels. Before standing, let's stretch out the backs of the knees. Bring your legs out to the sides and then out in front of you. Press your legs down. Extend through your heels and your toes. Stand up. You can use this series as a warm-up for the poses that follow or as a gentle practice when you're feeling tired or to calm down. Stand with your feet together. Let your arms hang loosely at your sides. This is mountain pose. It's the first standing pose and the foundation of all the other poses we'll be doing in this video. It teaches body alignment. Standing correctly has a profound influence on the way you feel about yourself and the way others perceive you. We'll return to mountain pose between each standing pose to rest and to observe any new feelings or sensations in the body. Stand with your feet together. If you need more stability when standing, separate your feet, but no more than hip width apart outer edges of the feet parallel from the little toe to the heel. Balance your weight evenly between your feet and between the balls of your feet and the heels. 
spread and extend each toe. Bring your awareness to your knees and use the front thigh muscles to lift the kneecaps. If you're locking your knees back, unlock them and use your front thigh muscles to lift your kneecaps up firmly. Your knees should now be facing directly forward. From the side, you can see how my hips are directly over my knees, which are over my ankles. It's important that you create a strong foundation with your feet and your legs. This will give you a feeling of stability and confidence when you stand. The pelvis supports the spine. Stand so that the rim of the pelvis is parallel to the floor. Positioning the pelvis properly helps keep the back healthy. To lengthen the spine, begin from your feet. Stretch your inner legs upward from the inner ankles to the groins. Feel the support of the abdomen as you continue to lengthen upward and relax the diaphragm. As your spine lengthens upward, lift the rib cage and open the chest. Drop your shoulders and bring the shoulder blades into the back to help support the rib cage. Lengthen the neck. Don't let your head come forward. Balance the head so that the ears are over the shoulders. Relax your face, your throat, your eyes. Breathe and observe the pose. Standing in mountain pose, your legs are firm and grounded, the spine light and free as you continue to lengthen from your feet through the crown of the head. This is a simple pose that you can practice in your daily life. When standing in this pose, your mind is quiet and your body steady and still like a mountain. Now you're ready to begin the more active part of this video. We'll start with triangle pose. For this and all the standing poses, practice on a non-skid surface. First, I'll demonstrate how to come into and out of the standing poses. Inhale, bend your knees, and jump your feet apart. Exhale, jump your feet back together. If you need to come into the pose in a more gentle way, step your feet apart and back. Stand with your feet together. Relax your shoulders. Breathe evenly. Take the time to center yourself in mountain pose. Inhale, bend your knees, and jump your feet three to three and one half feet apart. Drop your shoulders and extend through your arms to your fingertips. Pivot on your heels and turn your left foot in 60 degrees and your right foot out 90 degrees. If you're less flexible or need to work with some support, place the block so that when you stretch to the side, it's under your shoulder. In all the standing poses, make sure the heel of the front foot is in line with the arch of the back foot and remember to use the front thigh muscles to draw the kneecaps up. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, swing your pelvis to the left and bring your hand down on the block or if you're more flexible, on the floor. Now anchor your back leg. And with your next exhale, extend the spine toward the head. Bring the shoulders away from the ears and look up at your left hand. If this is difficult, simply look forward. You'll find that in time, this will be easier to do. To come up, press down through your left foot. Reach up through your left arm. Turn your feet forward. Lower your arms. Let them rest at your sides you'll find that the more you can feel the connection to the ground through your feet and your legs, the easier it is to lengthen the spine. Now let's try it on the other side. If you're using a block, move it to the left side. Inhale, 
Raise your arms. Turn your right foot in and your left foot out. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, swing your pelvis to the right and bring your hand down on the block or if you're more flexible, to the floor. Anchor your back leg. With your next exhale, extend your spine toward the head. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Now turn your head and look up at your right hand. Let your eyes relax and soften the breathing. Come up from the strength in your back leg as you reach up through your right arm. Turn your feet forward. Jump back to mountain pose. Let your breathing return to normal. As you continue to practice triangle pose, you'll find that it tones the calves, thighs, and hamstrings. It also strengthens the back muscles and spine. You should be getting a sense of how you can use your arms and your legs to extend the spine. When you finish triangle pose, your spine should feel longer and your hips more open. To get more openness and lift in your chest, place your hands under your rib cage. Draw your ribs up firmly. Feel the ribs open and expand. Keep your rib cage lifted as you draw your shoulders down and bring the shoulder blades into the back to support the rib cage. Now let your arms hang freely at your sides. Your shoulders are relaxed so you can extend the neck easily. Opening your chest can change the way you feel inside. It can leave you feeling uplifted. Let's try to capture that same feeling of openness in the chest by practicing triangle pose again. When you're learning a new pose, it's helpful to repeat it several times on each side so your body understands. Begin in mountain pose. Inhale, bend your knees and jump your feet apart. Turn your left foot in and your right foot out. Check to see that your right knee points directly toward your right foot. Keep the thigh muscles strong and active. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, swing your pelvis to the left and place your hand on the floor. To open the chest, press the outer left heel down firmly and extend the right and left sides of the spine evenly. Don't collapse the chest, but revolve the chest to face forward. Inhale, lengthen your neck. Exhale, turn your head to gaze up at your left hand. Inhale, come up from the strength of your back leg and the upward extension of your top arm. Turn your feet forward. Allow your breathing to return to normal. Let's do it again to the other side. Turn your right foot in and your left foot out. Check to see that your left knee points directly toward your left foot. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, swing the pelvis to the right and stretch out over your left leg. To open the chest, press the outer left heel down firmly and extend the right and left sides of the spine evenly. Revolve the chest so the center of the breastbone faces forward. Draw your shoulders down the back, inhale and lengthen your neck. Exhale, Turn your head to gaze up at your right hand. Come up from the strength of your back leg and the upward extension of your top arm. Turn your feet forward. Jump your feet together. Allow your breathing to return to normal. Keep your mind quiet and observe the effects of the pose. Side stretch will require a little more effort and determination. You'll feel this pose in your legs and your hips.
Remember to use your legs without tensing your neck and your shoulders. Begin in mountain pose. In this pose, the feet are jumped wider apart. Keep the jump light and low. Inhale, bend your knees, and jump your feet apart so your ankles line up under your wrists. Turn your left foot in and your right foot out. If you're using a prop, place it to the outside of your right foot. As in triangle pose, extend through the back leg. Bend your front leg to form a right angle. Inhale, and with an exhale, extend the right side of your torso over your right thigh. Place your right hand on the outside of your right foot or on a block. Place your left hand on your lower back. Ground through your back leg as you exhale and extend your spine toward your head. Inhale, lengthen the neck. Exhale, turn your head and look up. Now inhale, keep the back leg strong as you extend up through your left arm to come up. Turn your feet forward. Let your breathing come back to normal. Before you do side stretch again, let me show you something important to remember about this pose. Make sure you're not turning your knee in, but keep your knee directly over your ankle. Bring your head, shoulders, and rib cage back in line with the knee. Now let's try it to the left. Turn your right foot in and left foot out. If you're using a block, place it to the outside of your left foot. Your ankle should be directly under your wrist. Keep your back leg firm and extended as you bend your front leg to form a right angle. Inhale, and with an exhale, extend the left side of your torso over your left thigh. Place your left hand on the outside of your left foot or on a block. Place your right hand on your lower back. Inhale, and with an exhale, lengthen your spine toward your head without tensing your neck. Keep your legs active. Breathe evenly. Inhale, and come up from the strength in your back leg. Turn your feet forward. Jump back to mountain pose and allow your breathing to return to normal. When you're in a standing pose and you become short of breath, don't force. You may be at your present limit. Move slowly and with care so you can understand what your body's feeling. When you practice yoga, treat your body with reverence. We'll repeat side stretch, this time with the top arm extended. You can explore further how to use your arms to extend the spine. This time you'll feel the stretch all along the top side of the rib cage. Begin in mountain pose. Inhale, jump your feet apart. Turn the left foot in and right foot out. Extend through the arms. Keep the back leg strong and with an exhale, bend your right leg to form a right angle. Stretch your torso over your right thigh and bring your hand onto the floor or a block. Place your left hand on your lower back. This time, bring your left shoulder away from the right one to an imaginary wall behind you. Extend through your back leg now as you take the left arm up toward the ceiling and then alongside the ear. Now gently turn your head to look up at your arm. Breathe. To come up, keep the back leg active and extend through the left arm. Turn your feet forward. Let's try this to the other side. Turn your right foot in and left foot out. Keep the back leg strong and with an exhale, bend your left knee to form a right angle. 
Extend your torso over your left leg and bring your hand onto the floor. Place your right hand on your lower back. Extend through your back leg. Draw your right shoulder away from the left shoulder and bring it to an imaginary wall behind you. Stretch your right arm up to the ceiling and take your right arm alongside the ear. Turn your head to look up at your arm. To come up, keep the back leg active and extend through the right arm. Turn your feet forward, exhale, Jump your feet to mountain pose. Allow your breathing to return to normal. In the beginning, the most important thing in yoga practice is to understand your body. Some poses, like side stretch, will be more challenging than others. Use these as an opportunity to discover more about yourself as well as your body. We'll practice a forward bend and use a chair to modify for those of you who have less stretch. Even if you're flexible, you'll find this an effective way to calm yourself and cool down in between each standing pose. Stand in mountain pose about two feet away from the chair. Separate your feet hip width apart. Make sure they're parallel. Keep your legs active. Place your hands on your hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend forward from the hips. Clasp your elbows and place your arms on the back of the chair. Rest your forehead on your arms. Your back should be parallel to the floor. Keep your legs active. Release the spine completely. Remember, this is a resting position. Release the muscles around the eyes. Soften the skin at the temples. Breathe and let go. To come up, press your feet firmly into the floor and lift your torso from the strength of your legs. The effects of forward bends are immediate. You can use this pose to soothe and relax yourself during a stressful workday. Proud Warrior is my favorite standing pose. The powerful use of the arms and the legs brings you in touch with sources of inner strength. I encourage my students to practice this pose to develop confidence and grace. Begin in Mountain Pose. Inhale, jump your feet as in side stretch. Establish your foundation through your feet and your legs. Draw the tailbone down as you lift your front and back ribs. Bring your shoulders down, extend through your arms. Observe the median line of your torso, a single line running down the center of your face, neck, breastbone, and pelvis. Keep your awareness of this line as you turn your left foot in and right foot out. Your back leg is the strength of this pose. Keep your back heel firmly grounded as you exhale and bend your right leg to form a right angle. When you've gone down as far as you can, feel the stretch in your inner right leg. Use the strength in your back leg. Make sure your right knee is directly over your ankle. Inhale, lengthen the spine. On your next exhale, turn your head to gaze at your right hand. Move the legs equally away from the median line. Stretch the arms from the center line outward. Inhale, come up from the strength of the back leg. Turn your feet forward. Bring your arms down to your sides and let your breathing return to normal. Let's repeat Proud Warrior to the other side. Raise your arms. Remember the median line as you turn your right foot in and left foot out. 
Establish your back leg again. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale and bend your left leg to form a right angle. When you've gone down as far as you can, make sure your left knee is directly over your ankle. Are you feeling that same stretch in your inner left thigh? Are you extending through your back leg? On your next exhale, turn your head to gaze at your left hand. Inhale, come up from the strength of the back leg. Turn your feet forward and jump back to mountain pose. Let your breathing slow down. Stand in mountain pose and enjoy this feeling of confidence that you've created for yourself. When you're learning the standing poses, use standing forward bends to rest in between the more challenging poses like side stretch and proud warrior. Stand a foot away from the wall, feet hip width apart. Place your hands on your hips, rest your buttocks against the wall and bend forward. Take your hands and move the flesh of your buttocks away from the sitting bones. This will enable you to bend forward more easily. Bend your arms and take hold of your elbows. Release the spine. Remember to keep the legs active. The more you can do this, the more the spine will lengthen and release. Stay for a few more breaths. Let your head hang freely from your shoulders. Soften your eyes. Relax the back of the throat. To complete the pose, release your arms, inhale, and lift your torso from the strength of your legs. The attitude that you bring to your practice is important. When you can hold a pose with ease, comfort, and stability, you're doing yoga. In a challenging pose like Proud Warrior, we often use force. When you practice, keep your brain quiet and let your body lead you. Let's repeat Proud Warrior. Stand with the outside of your left heel touching the wall. Separate your feet four to four and one half feet apart. Turn your left foot in and right foot out. Make sure the right foot is in line with the arch of the left. Raise your arms and keep your heel in contact with the wall as you exhale and bend your leg until it forms a right angle. Can you feel the action of the back leg? Continue to lengthen the spine upward and be careful not to tense your shoulders or your neck. Extend through your right arm and look toward your right hand. Breathe evenly. On your next inhale, come up, jump your feet together. Stand with the outside of your right heel touching the wall. And your feet four to four and one half feet apart. Turn your right foot in and left foot out. Make sure the heel of the left foot is in line with the arch of the right. Raise your arms out to the sides. Keep your heel in firm contact with the wall as you exhale and bend your leg to form a right angle. Keep the rib cage high and wide as you drop your shoulders and extend through your right arm. Turn your head to look at your left hand. Take a moment to observe the power and the elegance of Proud Warrior. With your next inhale, Come up and jump your feet together. Breathe easily. Observe any new sensations in your body. Each pose is a way to self-exploration.
will practice two variations of extended leg stretch. It works mainly on stretching the hamstrings and is a good preparation for forward bends. For these, you'll need a chair, and if you're more flexible, two blocks. Stand in mountain pose about three feet away from the chair. Inhale, bend your knees, and jump your feet four to four and a half feet apart. Don't collapse your arches inward or overstretch the ankles. Lift your arches. Draw the kneecaps up. Place your hands on your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend forward from your hips. Place your palms on the chair. Keep your thighs active. Lift the sitting bones toward the ceiling. If your lower back is very flexible, take care you're not hanging in the lower back, but extend from the lower abdomen to the breastbone. As you continue to lift the sitting bones, you'll feel a stretching in the hamstrings. Now breathe and stretch. Place your hands on your hips. Inhale, raise your torso from the strength of the legs. Jump your feet to mountain pose. Observe the effects of extended leg stretch. For those of you who are more flexible, we'll practice a second variation of this pose. If you're less flexible, wait until your hamstrings stretch more. Repeat what we just did, or stand in mountain pose while we try the second. If you're attempting this variation, place your blocks so that when you bend forward, they're under your shoulders. Stand in mountain pose. Inhale, jump your feet four to four and a half feet apart. With your hands on your hips, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale and bend forward. Place your hands on the blocks. Lift the sitting bones and press down on the blocks. Draw your shoulders down the back so you can lengthen the neck easily and look up. Now keep your feet and legs active as you extend the spine forward from your lower abdomen. Breathe easily. To come up, bring your hands on your hips. Inhale, lift your torso from the strength of your legs. Bend your knees and jump your feet to mountain pose. To conclude the standing pose sequence, we'll practice this last variation of forward bends without props. You should find it easier now to bend forward after the variations of extended leg stretch. Stand in mountain pose. Separate your feet. Place your hands on your hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend forward from your hips and clasp your elbows. Feel your feet connected to the floor and the strength in your legs. Release the spine from deep in the lower abdomen. Release your neck from your mid-back. Take a few breaths. Each time you take a breath, release a little more toward the floor. Don't force. Let gravity take your spine down. Soften the throat. Release your eyes. Place your hands on your hips. 
Inhale and raise your torso, as always, from the strength of your legs. Stand in mountain pose. Observe how you feel. If you're a beginner, standing poses should be the core of your practice. They prepare you for all the other poses. You can practice them as part of a session as we've done in this program or as a practice complete in itself. For our first inverted pose, we'll practice dog pose. You'll use your arms and legs to support you. I recommend to my students that if they have time for only one pose, to practice dog pose. It gives the benefits of many of the other poses. It strengthens the abdomen, stretches the hamstrings and the shoulders. After a stressful day, you can use dog pose to rejuvenate yourself quickly. Sit on your heels. Separate your knees and bend forward. Extend your arms out in front of you and place your palms so that they're shoulder width apart. Stretch and extend your fingers. Turn your toes under. Inhale. Lift your sitting bones and straighten your legs. Stay high on your toes. To lengthen the spine, press your hands firmly into the floor. Stretch upward through your arms. Lift your sitting bones. If you're ready to go further, you can begin to lower your heels. Release any tension in your neck. Breathe evenly. Now bend your knees and sit back on your heels. As dog pose becomes easier for you, challenge yourself by holding it longer. When first learning dog pose, you often feel all the weight of the body on the shoulders. This variation of dog pose takes some of the weight off the shoulders, giving a feeling of lightness. Place the blocks shoulder width apart at the base of the wall. Sit far enough away from the wall so that when you place your palms on the blocks, your arms are fully extended. Turn your toes under, exhale, Lift your buttocks and straighten your legs. Stay high on your toes. Press the heels of the hands firmly into the blocks as you lift the sitting bones. To lengthen the spine, stretch through the arms. Lift out of your shoulders and lift your sitting bones again. Let your head hang freely. Your shoulders should feel lighter. Now you can try lowering your heels but don't lose the stretch in the backs of your legs. To come down, bend your knees and sit on your heels. Dog pose is another example of how to use your arms and your legs to stretch the spine in a dynamic way. Our practice up to now has been invigorating and extroverted. Yoga means union, a balance of the internal and external. For our next series of poses, we'll do forward bends, which are calming and introspective. For these poses, you need a blanket, a belt, or a tie. We'll start with staff pose. Sit with your legs in front of you. Balance your weight evenly between your legs and between your sitting bones. Bring your hands on the floor beside your thighs. This is staff pose, a seated version of mountain pose. 
In standing poses, the feet and legs are your foundation. In sitting poses, it's the sitting bones and the legs. Again, balance your weight evenly between your sitting bones. If your back is rounded, fold a blanket and sit on the edge of it. If you're more flexible, make sure you're not pushing the lower back forward. Let the lower back muscles lengthen downward. Keep your ears, shoulders, and hips in the same plane as in mountain pose. The pelvic rim should be parallel to the floor. Press the legs firmly into the floor as you extend the spine up. Now extend through your heels as you lengthen and spread the toes. Staff pose is the basic sitting pose and a preparation for forward bending. Part of doing forward bends is training yourself to look within. Not an easy thing to do when your hamstrings are complaining. Use your breath to deepen the stretch without force so you can explore your inner body. Begin in staff pose. If you have difficulty reaching your feet, take a tie or a belt and place it around your feet. Remember to keep your legs moving down. From your lower abdomen, with your next inhale, extend the spine up and out of the pelvis. Relax your shoulders. Extend the head and neck. Your head is an extension of the spine. Don't drop it down or bring it forward. If you're less flexible or feeling tired, come back and rest in staff pose. One of the most important principles of forward bending is to ground through the legs as you lengthen the spine upward. Let's go a little further into this stretch. First, relax your lower abdomen. On your next inhalation, begin lengthening from deep in the pelvis up through the crown of your head. Exhale and come further forward. If you feel a burning behind the knees, you've gone too far. You should feel a healthy stretch in the hamstrings. Inhale, lengthen the spine upward. Exhale, come further forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine upward. Exhale, come further forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine upward. Exhale, come further forward. On your next inhalation, come back to staff pose. Now we'll practice cobbler's pose. The ancient yogis used it for meditation. You can use it to stretch your inner thighs and to develop concentration as you stay completely focused in the present moment. Bring the soles of your feet together. Place your hands behind you. Keep your torso aligned as in mountain pose and sit forward on your sitting bones. If your back is rounded, sit on the edge of your blanket. Don't push your knees toward the floor. As your groins soften, your knees will come down more easily and the spine will extend more freely. Inhale, lengthen your spine upward. Exhale, soften and release the groins. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, soften the groins. 
Now take hold of your feet or ankles. Keep your chest open. Inhale, lengthen the spine again. Exhale, soften your throat. Relax your face. Quiet your mind. Remember, the more the groins soften, the more the legs will release downward. As the legs release, the spine will extend. To come out of this pose without putting stress on your knees, bring your hands behind you again. Now straighten your right leg out to the side, lengthening from the inner groin through the heel. Now straighten the left leg. Slide off your blanket. Roll your thighs in and sit in staff pose. Experience the peaceful effects of forward bends. Let's continue from the stillness that comes from the practice of forward bends. We'll move deeper into that feeling of quietness by doing another inverted pose called supported shoulder stand. Place a folded blanket at the base of the wall. Sit on the side of the blanket so that your left shoulder touches the wall. On your next exhale, swing your pelvis toward the wall and your legs up the wall. Your sitting bones should be as close to the wall as possible and the blanket should support you from the bottom of the rib cage to the sitting bones. When the head is lower than the heart, a message of relaxation is sent to the brain. If you feel any stretch in the hamstrings, move away from the wall slightly. Relax your abdomen and your diaphragm. Place your hands on your abdomen. It should feel soft, like dough. Now bring your hands to your sides, palms up. Don't roll your shoulders in, but move the shoulder blades downward and into the back to support the rib cage. Close your eyes. Descend your chin slightly. As you rest in this pose, observe the expansion of the rib cage. Remember that you're in a more passive state now. Inhale, observe the ribs opening to receive the breath. As you exhale, observe them moving in. Inhale, exhale, relax, do nothing. Release your throat, soften your eyes. Your lower ribs are supported now, so it's easy to breathe freely in this position. Come out, open your eyes, bend your knees, and rest for a few breaths with your feet on the wall. Next, roll onto your right side. Take your time before coming to a seated position. If you are feeling tired during the day, instead of taking a nap, practice supported shoulder stand for 10 minutes. It's a restorative pose and will leave you feeling physically and emotionally balanced. You can learn to relax by keeping the body still. This pose will leave you feeling nourished and refreshed. Relaxation pose soothes the nerves and pacifies the brain. This quiets the mind and allows you to enter a place of silence. You'll need a blanket and a cushion or a pillow. Have an extra blanket or a sweater nearby in case you feel chilly. 
sit on a blanket with your legs bent and feet on the floor. Place a folded blanket or pillow behind you for your head. Before lying down, balance your weight evenly on both sitting bones. Without disturbing the position of your legs, lower your torso slowly so the right and left sides of the spine touch the floor evenly. Interlace your fingers at the back of your neck and gently draw the skin toward your head. Release your hands and bring your arms to rest at the sides of your body. Slightly lower your chin toward your chest. Now stretch one leg away from you at a time. Slide your foot away from you, extending from the groin all the way through the heel. Let your leg roll out to the side. Now slide your other foot away, extending your leg from the groin through the heel. Let this leg also roll out to the side. Your feet should be about hip width apart. Stretch your arms away from your body so there's space between the upper arms and your chest. Turn your palms up. Before you close your eyes, observe how your body is making contact with the floor. Is the weight distributed evenly between the right heel and the left, between the right and left buttock, right shoulder, left shoulder, is the weight centered evenly on the back of your head. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. If you experience any discomfort in your lower back, place a rolled blanket or cushion under your knees. If you feel chilly, cover yourself with a blanket. Gently close your eyes. To relax completely, the physical body must relax first. Your brain will follow. So, begin by relaxing the back of the body from the torso to the neck. Then the front of the body from the pelvis to the throat. Finally, relax from the neck through the crown of the head. Treat your eyes gently. Raise your eyebrows just enough to release any tightness around the skin of the eyes and the forehead. Let your eyeballs move away from the eyelids and direct your gaze downward. Now you're ready to withdraw from the outer world and look inward. To help focus inward, relax your eyes. Relax your jaw. Release your tongue. Completely let go. Release the muscles at the base of the skull. Feel these muscles draw away from the center of your neck. Bring your awareness to the front brain, right at the edge of your hairline. Allow the front brain to rest on the back brain. Soften the skin of the forehead. Release. As you move deeper and deeper into relaxation pose, you'll feel your eyeballs becoming smaller and smaller. Release the tongue from the base to the tip. Let your tongue rest on your lower palate. As you relax more deeply, you'll experience a fullness in your tongue. With your mind's eye, look into your rib cage. Observe your breath. No need to change it, 
Just watch the breath filling the lungs. Inhale, observe the ribs expanding very, very slightly. Exhale, feel the ribs moving back very, very slightly. As you move deeper into relaxation, your exhalation will become slightly longer. Normal inhalation. Slow, soft, deep exhalation. Normal inhalation. Slow, soft, deep exhalation. As you relax, the slight pause between your inhalation and exhalation will also increase. Normal inhalation. Slow, soft, deep exhalation. Observe the space between the inhalation and exhalation. Observe your own silence. Normal inhalation. Slow, soft exhalation. Normal inhalation. Slow, soft, deep, tender exhalation. Each time you exhale, move deeper in. Surrender to your exhalation completely. In just a few moments, we'll begin to move out of relaxation pose. Always take your time. Slowly open your eyes. Keep your body still. Observe how you feel. Keep your gaze soft. When you feel ready, Roll on to your right side. When you're ready to come up, move from stillness to a sitting position that's comfortable for you. Embrace the sense of well-being that you've created for yourself and take that feeling with you through the day. Yoga is like music, the rhythm of the body, the melody of the mind, and the harmony of the soul create the symphony of life. Namaste. Namaste.